And isn't it the typical white hierarchical family household of father, mother, their common children, and prospective heirs, and their bourgeois conduct and lifestyle, that is everything that the left despises, disparages and maligns, isn't it that lifestyle and that social order that is the economically most successful model of social organization the world has ever seen? with the greatest accumulation of capital goods and wealth and the highest average living standards. So to speak. There can be peaceful coexistence of different cultures on distant, physically separated territories, but multiculturalism, cultural, cultural heterogeneity, cannot exist in one and the same place and territory without leading to diminishing social trust, increased tension, and ultimately the call for a strong men and the destruction of anything resembling a libertarian social order. And moreover, just as a libertarian order must always be on guard against bad, even if non-aggressive neighbors by means of social ostracism, that is, by a common, you, you are, are not, not welcome, welcome here culture. culture. So, and indeed even more vigilantly so, must it be guarded against neighbors who openly advocate communism, socialism, syndicalism, or democracy in any shape or form. These people, in thereby posing an open threat to all private property and property owners, must not only be shunned, but they must, to use the by now somewhat famous Hopper meme, be physically removed. So to speak. If if need be by violence and forced to leave for other pastures. Not to do so inevitably leads to, well, communism, socialism, syndicalism, or democracy, and hence the very opposite of a social order that can call itself a libertarian. Stop mass migration. And any known communist welfare parasites, social justice warriors, the stupid for liberty, open border and liberalala libertarians, or socialists, of any color, denomination, or country of origin, must be barred from permanent settlement. Crush the anti-fascist law. The transvaluation of all values throughout the West. The invention of ever more victim groups. The spread of affirmative action programs and the relentless promotion of political correctness has led to the rise of an anti-fascist mob, tacitly supported and indirectly funded by the ruling elites. This self-described mob of social justice warriors, public anger must be aroused and there must be clamoring far and wide for the police to be unleashed and this mob beaten into submission. So to speak. It is white heterosexual men who have demonstrated the greatest ingenuity, industry and economic prowess. And it is societies dominated by white heterosexual males and in particular by the most successful among them which have produced and accumulated the greatest amount of capital goods and achieved the highest average living standards.